Welcome back to our series on how you become a ninja with OneDrive. So we're talking here about how you can restore files that maybe you either deleted or accidentally modified um, and you want to get them back. So it's a really important feature that you want to know about as well as it could possibly get you a free lunch if someone's deleted their file and you help them get it back. So let's get into it. So when we were doing our last video, we created these specific files. And if you um, want to go back to our previous file to see how we did the creation of these files, you can. But the purpose of this video is just doing the restoration. So first we're gonna cover how you can restore it using the sync client. You can see that I have it right here, synchronizing, and I'm wearing this accounting folder. So I'm gonna, re I'm gonna right click on this file here. Let's say that maybe we deleted it, we didn't mean to, or we changed the, the version or history of it. We can say view history, and from there, it brings up this dialog box and it shows you the history of this file over time. And so I can either click on it and say download to get a version of it, or I can straight restore it right over the top of it. So, you know, maybe you're very confident that that's what you want to restore. Me, I might be a little <laughs> concerned about just blowing the one that's there away. Uh, so if you just download it, it just drops it into your download folder. You can then open it from there. If you're happy with the version that it is, you can then move it into this folder and overwrite it. So how do you do it on the web browser version? So let's come over here. See, same files. I can click here and look, version history, same thing. Even the same version options, it's all the same. So the web version as well as the desktop sync client all stay in perfect harmony. And then you have those same options for you to be able to restore files. You can click on the three dot, you can open the file and see where it is, and then save as to put it in a different location, uh, or you can do restore. So those are kind of the options that you can go through. I'm not sure why you would want to delete that version. Maybe you're just not happy with that being in the history for whatever reason, uh, but that's an option equally as well. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed this video on how you can do the restorations. Uh, our next video, we're gonna talk about what all those icons mean and how you can access your data easily uh, using some of those icons and what they mean. So for example, let's say that maybe you're gonna be on a flight and you wanna make sure you have access to the files that you have on OneDrive. Well, how do you do that? What do you do? How do you make sure that you always have access to that critical data even if you're offline, right? doesn't help you if the data is in the cloud and you don't have internet access. So we're going to cover that in our next video. Stay tuned.